Good everybody, this is Kiwi GI Customs and Collections and today I want to do a unboxing and also what I got from other buyers uh, this week. So this arrived today and I've already cut around it um, from a very good friend of mine up in Auckland, New Zealand and let's see what we've got here. So unravel the bubble wrap. Okay looks like to me this is rampart with all the accessories very nice yep yeah. so i'm trying to lose any and keep everything on the bag that would be for his machine gun. Oh yeah. Well actually this thing is called a cannon. I believe that fits. That's not bad indeed. That's pretty good. I've been always after this figure. So I got that for a really good steal. I did not hesitate to buy it. The missile launcher is quite uh, unique. It's a uh, flick. <laughs> and they went pretty far. Okay, put them aside. Next one is Stalker, I believe version 4, what version could this be, I'm going to say it's probably version 4 or 5, but correct me if I'm wrong, but, but yeah, anyway, I've had, I actually had this figure years ago, but I just didn't like the, um, the Neo color and the lack of paint like on his chest and all that so i'm gonna look at changing him a wee bit and we'll see how that goes so on the next one uh excellent so this is spirit now i actually do own a pretty mint spirit and a lot of people hate me for this but O-ring, and there's a new O-ring, but I want this uh, spirit so I can paint him up for the Sorters Marauders. Now, the eagle hasn't got, the, hasn't got his foot or his hook, not hook, his claw, but you know what? I was thinking about I can make one up. So, I want to apologise in advance that people who are going to like really hate me for this, like, what are you doing? Why are you making your own slaughters marauders? Because literally, I'm not made of money, and I do things on a budget, and I am completely honest. Like when someone comes around and says, "Oh, you are slaughters marauders," I'm going to say, "Hey, this is a custom." But yeah, I'm going to definitely see if I can make a the um the claw for freedom. If that works, it'll probably work with most birds. His joints are really quite tight, I'll, tell, I'll give you that. Jeez, the screw's quite rusty. I'll definitely put some CRC. I hope we can pull this guy apart. Alright, off to the side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lieutenant Falcon. He's got a broken crutch, which gives me an opportunity to, on my channel, to show you how to build a whole new crutch. Very tight. Very really excellent figure. My brother um, originally owned this figure, my oldest brother. Um, so honestly, 
I know, I've actually brought his old one. So I reckon I could be doing this baby up. Give him a whole new crutch. Alright, next figure. Ah, oh, yes, barbecue. And he looks like he's got his hand sort of damaged. Oh, that'd be quite an interesting build. I reckon I can make another hand. Yeah, that'd be great for another um, another sort of repair work on the channel in a further in a future date. Need a new iron for this. Next figure is a good mark. Okay, I can see he's got a broken T Hawk. I've already done a repair um, T Hawk to a lift ticket. But I've actually got another version of um, Skid Mark which I created. So I might look at repairing this and then show you what I've done with my version of Skid Mark. What have we got here? Ah, wounds. Wounds, and he's missing a leg. That gives me an idea for a custom, actually, or a repair work. Whatever comes first. Okay, next is. Ah, law. Law version 3, or as most people like to see him or call for him, is the Drug and Elim Elimination Force Law. Yeah, it's not too bad, that is really mint condition. Really tight. I've never really been a fan of these spring file weapons. I've never, never been. I've never really been a fan of these neon colours too, but that's really nice. And believe it or not, I've actually got a spare order, so law must always come with order. So I put that aside. Um, also, throughout the weekend, I got myself the Dreadnought motorcycle. And it came with the gun. Pull that shit aside. Came with the gun, but the gun was actually broken off. And I got it for a really excellent price. The stickers something to get faded. I know how to put that on. But I figure I've got an idea to put this baby back on. I'd say baby a lot. Put this back on. So that even swivels. swivels. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be great if I get that done. It's also missing the shields, but I don't really care much about the shields itself. And another thing I grabbed is a snow cat. This is going to be now. This snow cat has got the clip broken off, as you can see here. It's not too bad a condition, just needs a bit of a, a bit of a clean. I mean, it's got the windshield, the wiper blades, um, frostbite here. Frostbite has seen better, better, has seen better days, but I've already got a frostbite. But the snow cat is what I wanted. Um, I'm also got coming up as well, um, and I'll show you, is the, uh, Tiger Cat, so I'm hoping that comes up in the next couple of days or so, so when that comes into play, I'll, uh, bring them to this video. Also, the Tiger Cat has got the same thing, it's, um, the missile block, the missile, the missile, what do you call that, missile launcher. Uh, the clip is broken, 
but I'm going to see what I can do to get this up and running. Anyway. Okay, so believe it or not, it's the next day and this arrived. So I've already cut it open and let's see what we've got. And as I said before, it is a tiger cat. Very well, bubble wrap. side yep so this is a tiger cat once again it's got the clips broken and I'm thinking about doing it's also got the wrong missile goods too uh, which this belong, they actually belong to the snow cat so that's an easy fix boom Yeah, let's swap them over here. So another thing I also need to do is put another wheel dumbbar on this. And lo and behold, that wheel feels like it's, it's not moving. I'm not too worried about that. That's uh, it's going to be basically a display. If it's already been glued, I'm not. I'm not going to care. Yeah, it looks like the rear clip here is broken off. That's not too bad. I'll see if I can make another one. If not, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah. So what I'm thinking about doing is a two different methods of repairing these at the same time. Um, and that will be in a future date. But that will be quite a good project. Well, I believe. Anyway, that's it from me. So anyway, guys, catch you later. Please like, share and subscribe. And um, catch me on Facebook as well. And uh, yo, Joe.